So the next two videos after this will go into detail about galvanic and electrolytic cells and how to draw them. So just a quick look at what the galvanic cell looks like and the electrolytic cell looks like. So that's, uh, I'll go into detail about the, that diagram for galvanic cells and that's the diagram I'll go into detail about electrolytic cells. But just to introduce the two, uh, first of all the similarities between the two is that they both have two electrodes, uh, a conductive medium. Uh, and they both have uh, reduction at the cathode and oxidation at the anode. Uh, the difference between the two is this one here is spontaneous. Um, spontaneous. So the chemical reactions occur naturally, and that those chemical that chemical energy there is transformed into electrical energy, and that uh, is captured uh, through wires, and so we'll get a voltage reading. And so the, naturally the cathode uh, is positive and attracts electrons to it and we get a source of electricity from that. Uh, the more detail will come in the salt bridge in the other video. And just to compare it with the electrolytic cell, the electrolytic cell we are forcing electrical energy into the system. And so when we force electrical energy into the system, uh, that forces electrons to the cathode and that forces electrical reactions to uh, chemical reactions to occur. Uh, and so one is spontaneous and one is non-spontaneous. Uh, that one is non-spontaneous. So just a quick summary, we are converting electrolytic cells. We're using electrical energy to create chemical reactions that would not normally occur. And in this galvanic voltaic Daniel cell, uh, we're using uh, chemical energy, uh, capturing that natural chemical reactions to create electric electricity.